everyone. The trick-or-treaters are out and about. Plenty of homes around the Queen City pretty festively decorated, including this one. They're calling it the Horror on How. That's a, the, yeah, this is a house, folks. This is not a cemetery. <laughs> this is not, this is, this is someone's place. Oh, Can you believe yeah. this? <gasps> what? Oh, my, it's the Scarecrow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is actually Pat Malloy. Pat, you're the homeowner here? Yes, I am. Okay, I gotta ask you, how in the world did you come up and get to this point where your house is just completely amazing for Halloween? I'm a obsessive compulsive disorder, Dan. <laughs> That's fantastic. Hey, me too, man. I dream of having a house just like that. How many kids typically come to your place or, uh, during Halloween? Uh, we get between 100 and 150 kids who come to our, our Halloween. Well, we just saw some of the pictures, but for the viewers at home who really can't see your entire yard, give us a sense of everything you've got there. Um, my yard is about, uh, I guess, about 40 feet long. Um, there are things that jump out <laughs> at you, um, all sorts of uh, ghouls. Uh, we lurk around in the, uh, in the yard. Um, just uh, we, we really enjoy Halloween, as you can tell. Awesome. Now, now, real quick, Pat, how long does it take you to set this thing up? Uh, it's about a three-day setup, and about uh, after that, it's tweaking from that point on. And plenty of cleanup, I'm assuming, too. Yeah, it's about. Uh, it, it'll take me about two days to get everything uh, off the yard and uh, and disassembled. <laughs> now, will, will you let it linger for like a week or two, just, or do you wake up tomorrow and start tearing this thing down? I'll be uh, I'll be tearing it down tomorrow. It stays up right until uh, October 31st, November 1st. It comes off the yard. I usually have it set up for most of October. Oh, that's fantastic. That is awesome, Pat. You're a man after my own heart, I tell you. <laughs> I, I put a lot of effort into my house, too, but it is nothing like that. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, Pat. We're going to touch base with your house a little bit later on in the broadcast. Thanks a lot again. Yes, and if you want to check it out, it's along Howe Place in the Northwest. Yes, absolutely. All right, and if you're looking... Well, we're back for a look at your forecast, and it is a very spooky night. Here's another live look at the activity outside the horror on how this Halloween night. Beautiful weather out there for all those trick-or-treaters, and, you know, earlier today, a lot of Halloween action going on. A Halloween tradition, carving pumpkins. Teams of two put their handiwork to the test in the annual pumpkin carving contest. Put on